hi guys welcome back to battle box thank you for joining me today so this video i want to share is something that has been trending online for a little bit and it's something that is very very uh sensitive i think that viewers this question is advised i just want to share this to show the decay in society and how while some people are trying to get rid of this inhumane act in the country the other people that are also condoning it and I'm talking about the big people, the elite, the wealthy, the connected. We were told to feed him well before killing him. That's a confession from a suspect who said he lured and killed his friend and sold his body parts. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano reports. For weeks now, the Lagos Police Command Headquarters has not held any parade of suspects. Now there are stories and there are crime stories. What you're about to hear is mind-boggling. Um, it's a story of a well-coordinated syndicate, what I'll call merchants of human parts. The attend the police have arrested so far. He used to be a cemetery attendant, but due to increasing demand for fresh human parts, Ademola had to diversify into luring, killing and selling fresh human parts. Once it is being buried, we call it dry. Either it is still cold, it is still, since we are not the one that murdered the person, it's not life killing. It was buried already, so we call it dry. Mm -hmm. Then I was in the queue. There was a local bar there. I did go there to drink. No matter, they've known me that I did travel there consistently since about four or five years. Then the guy now met me. Maybe a week to the time I'm coming back to Lagos. That I said, let me go to Lagos with you. He said, okay. So actually, I saw the opportunity because they've ordered already. So I called Oshetua. Someone is coming to Lagos. Though. The order was woman head, the heart, the hand, and not a cautionary the leg, but not always. We were drinking, the guy was taking the cigarettes because he drinks a lot. So I don't know how they want to come and how they want to do the work. So, so he, he went maybe 12 footsteps ahead of where we are and placed the four. Piece of down. And immediately the guy picked the collar nut, turned it back. The man shot, looked more immediately, and he died on the spot. So I went to 30 or so when we started working, cutting and dismembering the body and everything. I picked what, allergy, what they ordered. The head, the heart, the left hand, the left hand, the baba have taken, have taken one, the left hand and blood. Baba and Balogun, which my friend, they, they put the what's it called the other part into two, about to kizun, which one they said which one am I taking? Like I said I can't pack everything. If I need anything, I will call Balogun. Maybe we we'll meet. Him. He said they have so far killed two people. The only person I can say maybe I regret is Lukman. If I can say his boy Said has even given me one part when I travel to Okio, which I met him around Igbua. He revealed a king contracted them to kill his son okay, so he could use his is. body parts. He's just to kill. He said, no, he needs the head. In fact, everything entirely, but he's going to pay well. Alaji is a receiver, and his huge demand for human parts put Ademola under pressure. <laughs> Others spoke on their roles in the Hinos Act. What you we, 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 you recovered from Mama's house is the son that even used that in, to that extent. My man knows everything. Police say people should be cautious about those they associate with. People should be careful the kind of jobs they accept. This person was asked to come and work on a pig farm. Um, so people need to be extra careful and let somebody know where you're going to. The police are also after most suspects in connection with the gang. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lego. The question that bugs my mind is how they are describing the parts they are describing. 50,000 Naira, are you serious? You don't reach that level, as in this is 2024, and this kind of heinous act is still going on. This is something we heard about in the 90s and the early 2000s, 
and we thought the government have gotten rid of rid of such ritualistic acts but it was still very common it's very sad and uh, the question i have for the media is why are they blurring the faces of these people why are they showing them the back of our heads if the job of the media is to uh protect the society shouldn't these people be revealed and all the associates know that they won't be victims next because if they are hiding these people's face are they saying say you know those people they are trying to protect their identity what if there are people that we know and society should be afraid society should be careful and not associate with these people because who knows who their next victim might be or who knows who their next victim are even though they are uh, arraigned by the police but they might have victims that are targeted and some acts can still be ongoing in the society so this is a call on the media to please let's know who these animals are let us reveal them and let everybody be aware Nigeria never change and insecurity is still a very very serious concern wow so this is still going on very very sad and it's not what we want to report on because as a society we think we've passed this level that a king somewhere or some big man somewhere will be ordering others to take other people's life for what like for what is just barbaric is unacceptable and it should not be condoned and people just need to be careful and guys you need to be secure make sure you know who you are work make sure you know who you're around make sure you know who your friends are and be careful what kind of jobs or where you go to this is nigeria of 2024 and things are not even looking to get better thank you guys for watching please share this with someone that you think might find value bye guys Bata bata, bata bata, bata box.